Hey, this is Joseph Lebrecht, and I'm talking about Adobe Edge Animate Preview 7 in this video, specifically around some responsive design concepts within Edge Animate Preview 7. So let's go into this particular composition here, and here we'll be able to see some of the changes around responsive design and changing things from a pixel based to a percentage based layout. So we can see immediately on the stage, we actually have the ability to change our width units and our height units to percentage. So here we have 100%. And as soon as we do that, we actually get this little uh, handle on the stage here, which allows us to temporarily resize the stage so that we can see how it reacts or how the elements within our composition react to the actual stage size changing. We can also set a minimum width here to pixels of percent and we have maximum width. If I go into any of these particular elements we can see that we can choose either pixel or percentage base units for a lot of these positioning and sort of transform type elements here. So with the image, the background image itself can be switched. Any of the X and Y width and height positions can be switched. So if we want to change the width to percentage, and then we want to test that, you can see that the actual image does change based upon the layout that we currently are emulating. You can see here too that this little handle, it always knows where it's supposed to be. So we can easily bring that back in and snaps to there. So what if I want to have something specific happen with this image, some sort of behavior? Well, for most elements, we actually have these little presets for responsive layout. So if I click on this, you can see we've got these little presets here. So this particular one scales the position relative to the parent size. And it tells you what it's going to do to enable that. It's going to set the X and Y position to percentage. We can also scale size relative to the parent. We can scale the background image proportionally relative to the container's width. And it'll set all these different things about background image position, width, and height. We can choose to center the background image. We can choose to clip it or just have a sort of static background image. So any of these, we can choose hit apply, and it's going to make the adjustments for us to make that behavior possible. You'll notice we can also choose between global coordinates and applied coordinates. Applied coordinates are sort of local coordinates based upon the parent container of the particular object, and global is calculated based upon the stage itself. So we have some choices here. And we've also got the ability to change what these sort of numbers and such are relative to. Are they relative to the top left, to the top right, bottom left, or bottom right? So this is the idea of pinning within our application. So let's say that we want to actually have this guy here and let's change him to be a static background image. So it's all pixel based at this point. And we want to pin him to the upper left hand corner based upon his current position. So now when I actually change this, we can see that indeed the image is actually pinned to that upper corner there. And if I adjust this, it doesn't matter how much I adjust it, it's going to be pinned to that particular point. So having a responsive layout and setting up all your objects is a very complicated subject. Um, I encourage anybody to sort of play around with it. Um, the easiest thing to do is just create a bunch of blocks on the stage and just change them via presets or by just tweaking the properties themselves. And, you know, really just playing and seeing what happens when you do that and how everything reacts to these different emulated screen sizes. You can also go in and simply do a preview in the browser and then move your browser window 
So make it very narrow, make it very wide, and see how all your elements react to that.